Okay. Um, I've not read the book. That's the first thing I'm going to say. So I watched the film. I'm yes, perfect. You're the audience we yeah. made the film for. And I'm not going to try and give anything away because I've, I've not really reacted to a character as much as I did with yours in a very long time. Oh, like, wow. Oh, wow. Absolutely hated her, uh, but, you know, I was intrigued by her. I mean, did you have the same um, reaction reading the script? I read the book first and okay. I and I I had a very uneasy sort of reaction to her at the very beginning of the book because I thought I'm being asked so much to like this woman and I'm not sure I do quite like her. And then, you know, as more and more of her characters revealed, I sort of felt much easier because I thought I'm getting to a truth here. I'm always a sort of seeker after truth. So when I feel that at least a character's being true to themselves, I'm, I'm more comfortable. Um, but I do, I love the fact to being able to play a woman who doesn't have to be an ideal woman. You know, it's, it's fun that. And, um, you know, she's definitely female. I don't think Amy could have been a man. Do you do you think she could have been a man? No, it should have been a completely different character if she was a man. Yeah, she, I don't think she... Yeah, every way she operates. When sort of a man displays rage in a movie, it's almost accepted here, but the, the odd snippets of rage with Amy are almost shocking, aren't they? I don't know why they are, but... Yes, well, are. it's a diff and it's a different... It's a good observation, it's, and it's a different depiction of rage because it's not, it's not hysterical woman, you know. It's it's something yes. I mean, there's that old saying, isn't there, that men, when angered, men act out, women act in. Mm -hmm. Women sort of simmer. It's a longer brew. The anger. You've, re you've read the book. Um, yeah. what, what's it like working on uh, an adaptation where there is that established fan base? There is people have an idea what Amy's like in the head already. I mean, do you think about that, or do you just look at your own interpretation? Oh, oh I, I do. I do. I do think about that because. Um, I mean, I think everybody signed off on Ben Affleck to play Nick Dunn so quickly. You know, it was, they were like, oh yes, that's perfect casting. And I think people sort of warily hovered over the casting of Amy a little bit more because perhaps she's harder to define and harder to pin down. Um, but I just, you know, that's what you, you get a freedom when David Fincher casts you, I think, that, you know, people trust him. And, you know, Gillian Flynn, the writer, she was ecstatic when David agreed to do the movie and she knew her material would be in good hands. And I knew that he probably, you know, he was going to make something of Amy. I mean, you know, I feel that this character is as much his, you know, it's Gillian's creation, obviously, but it's as much his creation as mine in the terms of the film version. It's got quite a dark sense of humour as well. I mean, how difficult was that to get the tone right? Because it could have become sort of, you know, sometimes. farcical. And sometimes you feel you're in a movie that, you know, there is this sort of almost, there's a sort of heightened almost sort of, you know, camp absurdity to it um, and at sometimes you know I thought how is this going to work and even sort of some of the studio execs would be coming to the set and they'd say to David you know the dailies are really funny and David would just be silent and he said they were supposed to be funny weren't they and David would remain silent you know he always wants that sort of uncomfortable um, t uh, sort of moment where you're not quite sure whether you're allowed to laugh and whether it is meant to be funny. He's never going to make anything clear cut. He's never going to give an audience a sort of clear guide as to how to react. Um, and sometimes when Neil Patrick Harris and I were doing scenes, it would feel like we were in a completely different movie from everyone else. But somehow the way David knits the whole together, he I, I mean, it's brilliant, I think, the way he's... And just finally, was she a difficult character to shake off? Was she one of those characters that took a while to get over. Yes, I mean, I think that the, the, the toll it took on me was, was, a, was quite profound because there's, you know, I had to play me at different stages. I also had to do some weight gain and weight loss multiple times during the six months that we were filming. And that takes a certain physical toll on the body. Um, and sort of mentally, I just was totally immersed in that world for a long time. <laughs> um, so I was ready to sort of you know, spend some time doing sort of innocent things like, you know, going down to the seaside in England when I got home and um, not, you know, get leaving, leaving the crazy behind, <laughs> leaving the toxic stuff behind.